the fact that I believe you can't heal trauma by words alone. That's not to say that words don't play a part in it, and in fact, a very important part. But trauma does not lie in the speech parts of the brain. It lies in the parts of the brain that deal with unconscious processes that have to do often with the body. And therefore, I think one needs to incorporate the body in the healing process in order to heal the trauma. Well, of course it is. <laughs> okay. And that's what PTSD is. It's replaying the emotions mm -hmm. and the somatic experience that's still stored there in memory in the present moment, not in the past. So it's it, as if it's happening. As if it's happening now. So trauma is a corruption of memory. That's number one. Okay. It's a corruption of the body's process. The, the body now keeps coming back to the same patterns of self-defense. And so that person not only will keep remembering it, will experience it, he will begin to experience symptoms in the body parts that never completed what they needed to do. Um, the one piece of learning I would have people take away is that it is not the events that are the problem. And it has been a tradition in our field. I say we're all children of Freud, so we grew up, as it were, as psychotherapists, revering the sharing of events as a vehicle for healing. In trauma, that isn't what works. And uh, in fact, it often makes things worse. And we start to confuse the events with the people who experience them. There's a myth about trauma treatment that you have to remember what happened and have an emotional catharsis. And somehow that combination is the cure. I mean, basically, it's what uh, Freud and uh, people before him, uh, uh, actually, some of the people before him had a more enlightened view. But this was the idea that is a misunderstanding uh, or a misapplication in trauma ther therapy, that you have to get the people to remember and remember one horrific experience after another after another and to have often violent reactions with those memories. And that's, that's not the answer. Uh, again, the answer is to be able to come out of where the person has become frozen physiologically. Now, as part of that, the person will generally recall images and begin to process images and feelings, but in a much more gentle way. What people often miss is that the way people relate to trauma is to split it off. The trauma is about an unbearable experience. And so asking somebody about your trauma is almost an impossible question because you don't want to know that trauma. And the very essence of trauma is that it is too scary to visit and too scary to know. And so people split off their trauma, they dissociate it. It should have been a dissociative disorder.